UFC 171, according to the UFC, the venue already sold out. Uh, and why wouldn't it be? I mean, Johnny Hendricks, uh, a real professional, a great ambassador for the sport, tries to talk as much smack as he can. He's got a great look, and he puts guys to sleep, and that's what people are looking for. Uh, th these are two southpaws. But how do they match up considering the fact that, I mean, you know that Robbie Lawler has faced some southpaws in the past. Uh, how do these two match up on paper? Yeah, you know what's interesting? There's a lot of little variables going on here. And sometimes you just got to look at the technical aspects of how their games match up. That's what we love to do the most on the show. There's a million things to talk about. But what happens when you take these two specific animals with these two specific combinations of skills and put them together? And I want to take a look at that in the breakdown. And this one is a lot. Of fun. It was a lot of fun to look at these two guys, two of the best, two big, heavy hitting southpaws, but they have very, very different styles and very, very different weapons. You look at Hendricks, it's that straight left is his power, and southpaw versus orthodox, you can see that the straight left here, there's a nice straight line to the jaw, but uh, Robbie Lawler loves the counter right hook and uppercut. That's also available. There are two weapons here, really line up interesting. So you look at Hendricks, always close close in the distance, always rushing in, and he uses it to set up takedowns as well. That's going to come into play. But you see the way he drives in with that straight left. And it's been a great weapon for him. Robbie Lawler, the right uppercut, and this. Take a look. Let's be quiet. Shh. That guy is sleeping. He hit him so hard, he sets that thing up. And uh, man, that is a real weapon. Ninja Hua, you see that he uses the left right hook, right uppercut. This guy hits you and you go to sleep. But they are two southpaws facing each other. Different guys, different skills, and it is going to be very, very interesting. And when you look at southpaw versus southpaw here, that straight left, a little tougher. you got the right shoulder, the right hand, uh, right hand up covering you, the right hook still available nicely for Lawler. These two guys, the way it's going to come together is going to be fascinating. Lawler uh, here was uh, facing a southpaw, and when he looks... There's the straight left and the right uppercut, and Matt Lindland is asleep. We better straighten his legs out for him, let him get a little bit of air. Look at this, straight left slips it, right uppercut, and the big right hook puts him to sleep. So that straight left is the weapon that we're going to see Johnny Hendricks throwing. And this is what Robbie Law is going to look to do. But let's take a look at another detail. This left foot drags up behind him, and it's, he's squared up when he gets hit. That is the worst way to take that right hook. And does that matter? Well, it matters if we see that from Hendricks often. Watch this left foot drags all the way up. He's getting countered here. Left, not a right, but he's getting and counted nonetheless, but look how nicely he moves his head. So yes, he's putting himself in danger of being hit with that counter right hook, but he does move his head well, so the way these two come together is fascinating. Wouldn't it be crazy if Robbie Lawler landed that punch and was the welterweight champion of the world?